Hi YouTube. I'm in the walking talking mood here <laughs> and I'm wanting to do something where uh, I get a chance to see how it feels to walk and talk in sunglasses. Yes, the day is sunny, but it's not that sunny that I have to wear sunglasses, but this is just something that I want to do. You know, I saw uh, a Chrisette Michelle video where the other day where she was being interviewed on some power station and um, she did the entire video in dark glasses. I said, no, girl. No, I love it, though. I love it. Um, and I hadn't just hadn't seen something like that before, and I thought, ooh, ooh, let me see what I can do about this um, dark glasses for a whole video. <laughs> anyway, this is kind of random. I am going to um, record this walk all the way to where I want to stop and just sit for a moment. Um, but random, random, random. I am starting this um, journey here on YouTube with the videos. And um, so therefore, I am, how you doing? Hey Great. So therefore, I am uh, excited about the journey and I am so excited that I think I'm going a little bit over uh, in this first week of making these videos and I'll, the excitement will pan off uh, very soon probably <laughs> and I will do the typical thing which is to um, make them every week or twice a week, probably every week. Lord knows I'm doing a number of things anyway, just like everybody else. I just wanted to stop and give you a little, um, I don't know, full, <laughs> full, full shot there. But, any, but anyway, um, um, get my bangs just so, just to give you another view. Yeah. Anyway, um, so, Catch your breath, Claudia. Catch your thoughts while you're at it. <laughs> so, I think I'll make a video every day. And uh, this one, oh, uh, let me see. We'll call this one Five Random Thoughts as we walk. Five Random Thoughts as I walk. Um, one, I am, I think, relationship ready. Uh, because I have not had a relationship in a long, long time. And I think in that time, I have been preparing for a relationship. Um, and that is just plain getting to know myself more, getting to reflect on past um, vestiges of relationships um, and learning to be a better loving me so that I can show up in a better way in my next relationship um, random thought number two I am an adventurous in the sense that well, maybe adventurous uh, slash um, spontaneous kind of uh, being. I like, I love spontaneity. I, I love, hey, Claudia, let's go do this. And you have no idea what this is. You've never done it before. And it's like jumping in a swimming pool for the first time. So uh, that kind of thing kind of lets you know that you're alive. And yes, you, you weigh the risks of jumping off the building, but um, overall, you, you do it because uh, you love life and you love the, the person, uh, hopefully, that's saying, hey, Claudia, come do such and so with me. Um, and of course, you know, it's not gonna be something as crazy as jumping off a building, 
but it might be uh, something like going to Miami Beach and looking for a new beach and enjoying the whole experience of being a, na a naturist without some judgment. Random fact number three. I am a poly person, a brand new, know nothing about it poly person. I have just, um, well, la at the end of last year, uh, I embraced the knowing that I would like to love polyamorously. Um, I've had monogamous situations before, and I've cheated in monogamous um, relationships. I don't want to cheat anymore, and I don't want to uh, love monogamously anymore. I want to love and love openly, love honestly, and not feel like I have to own someone, or someone has to own me, because you belong to me. Um, and it might at first sound good if someone said, oh, you belong to me, I belong to you. Yes, but somehow that idea of ownership kind of um, puts me in the mind of, I don't know who that was, but hello, um, the Indians saying, you know, you can't own the earth. I can't own another person. Um, I don't even own my son. My son is his own person. I love him and love him to where he is in life and then he goes on from there. Um, but that is how I want to love other people in the sense that I want to be free enough to say, yes, I love this person, uh, come, come explore life with me. Um, yes, we uh, can be committed uh, in the sense that I care for you, you care for me, and I, I take care of you if necessary um, in the sense that I give advice, I, I give resources, I give, uh, most importantly, my time, uh, my love, but um, I, I don't feel, I don't want to feel like um, you, you can't do anything else, you can't love anyone else, you must always from this moment on love me and me alone. I, that's kind of crazy to me right now. And so I have dispelled this idea of the one. Uh, you find the one and that's it. It's, it's me and that person against the world. Uh, no, I think we can love as, as far as our hearts will go out to love other people, no matter how many. Some people polyamorously like um, triads. Some people like the foursomes. Some people like being in uh, relationships that have no boundaries. No, okay, seven people, uh, I can only love seven people and that will do. I, I want to explore the extent of my heart and find out um, what the limits or extents will be. How, how much is too much or how much is just fine for me to love. Um, so it, this is this is quite different for me, uh, and I'm ready to take that plunge into polyamorous waters. Um, so that's what. Random fact number three. <laughs> Random fact number four. I love walking. I love. Um, how it feels to to walk in the day and, and glide through it like you're gliding through invisible waters and you got the, the weight of gravity and uh, moving against the body at all times yes but you're moving with it when you're walking and you get a chance to and almost like make love uh, horizontally except you're doing it with just you okay that might be um, pushing it a little, a little much, but um, I like pushing it a little much. Random fact number five. I am working on a short story right now entitled Urzuli's Touch. Urzuli is an island name and her touch is going to be uh, meditative and restorative. Um, healing so like I would think my touch is in the world and your touch 
But anyway, um, I will share that story with you um, a little bit later after I finish it. I finished it last night, so uh, basically now it's a matter of tweaking it to make sure that it says exactly what I want it to say. Um, that it is artistically where I want it to be. That I'm showing and not telling all of the good things that fiction writers use to flat that story out and make it um, very amenable to enjoying it every read, every time. That would be five random facts about Claudia. So I'm almost to where I'm going to be to sit down and enjoy just a moment or two of this exquisite day. So have a good one. YouTube, enjoy. Disfrute de su día. Adiós.